Recently, I sat down with renowned television personality Lutuli Lamini to talk about his latest movie project, Safe Bet. Let's hear what he had to say. My computer has stopped everything, John. Hello. And if he dies, John. How did I get here? I was an ordinary guy. Go to work, go home, then go to work. And then comes the abnormal load, the bills. Frank, what better? Uh, a few hundred, nothing serious. I want to bet all this money on tonight's match. We're just very confident with the sting. Is he sting? Yeah, yeah, the, the, yeah. Sting, the sting, he's a great fighter. <laughs> Good fight, boy. You said that we were over 200 Gs. Yeah, it was supposed to be. I'm too good looking. I'm too young to hold jail. I want to be some big, fat guys, big. We have never robbed them into safe before. They're actually criminal masterminds. Oh, my God. So do we masterminds. You, you thought I was a criminal? You must be the clever one, eh? I've got a plan on how we can get our money back. You have a bag. How can you do a robbery and not bring it back? Place a large bet. And when you lose, you come back the next day, park in the same parking spot, and try to rob your place. Look, was a problem, sir. So hold my head. See, fool, I didn't take my well, I like him to you guy. In early March, the South African movie scene will add another classic. We hope it becomes that uh, to its repertoire of great cinematic productions with the nationwide release of action comedy Save Bet. The film, which stars Wandi Lemulebatsi, Lutuli Zamini, Godfrey Tobejani, features surprise guests from the likes of David Gao, Metro FM's top DJ Tibo Touch, has already scooped numerous awards on the festival circuit, having received honors at the Global Independent Film Awards, Silicon Valley African Film Festival, Bronze Lens Film Festival, the Film Awards, and the Queen City Film Festival. Cast member and well-known television actor Lutuli Zamini is here to tell us more about this movie, as well as his work on stage, television, producing movies. Great to have you with us. Well, that's him. Much appreciated. See, it helps to do this kind of work because we meet the stars. Well, you're my star, <laughs> and I've <laughs> so, got to say so that... So I'm very uh, lucky now. I mean, uh, I, I can tell you, a lot of people envy me now, that's where I'm sitting. Well, they, they envy me, Bratim. <laughs> You've been around for a decade, for decades, in fact. You're my hero, so yeah. Well, I'm very happy when I hear that people like yourself and uh, your colleagues in the movie industry and uh, television productions creating work for yourselves, as well as growing, you know, the, the range of work that you do. And now with uh, Safe Bet and uh, winning the kinds of awards that you are doing, how was the experience like? You know, it was brilliant. Um, you know, going to work to make people laugh, I think, is is is, is, is a privilege. It's an honor. It's it's, it's fantastic. You go to work. Um, you look forward to go to work. Um, it just it's that cherry on the top uh, for your passion. You know. Um, a great cast, great director. He allowed us a lot of latitude, uh, Mr. B. Uh, Juan Dilea, we had the surprise um, of working with the likes of uh, Mam Nandi Nyembe, um, uh, Brian Mofakeng, um, the young guys, um, uh, Godfrey. So it, it, it's always wonderful to, to, to work in that, that kind of mix of talent and age groups. But I can imagine, and I'm anticipating the idiosyncrasies of uh, a life here, in the big cities, right? Uh, so what can we look out for? I hope we, we see some of the things that we take for granted, we get up to daily, but uh, it's very funny. Well, that, that, this, this is just, uh, this is, that's why it's, it's, it's a charming story, because everyone will identify. Yes. Uh, number one, you have a youngster who works hard every day and he's got a, 
um, uh, uh, bills to pay at home. He's got a dad to look after, family, and so on and so forth. He's an educated boy. Um, but he comes up short. He's always short of money. Now, who doesn't <laughs> the identify? Say, uh, a day late and a dollar short. <laughs> and a dollar short. Yeah. So, um, you know, you, you, he, he gets an opportunity to uh, change his financial circumstances, um, albeit a, a non legal opportunity. But, um, you know, out of pressure and, and so forth, he takes that chance. Um, but then uh, he, he, he steals from the wrong guy. Yeah. Uh, he steals from Doc, uh, the character that I play, who uh, is one of those guys that has, has traveled the world and has come from foreign and is settled down here in South Africa and um, he runs a, a betting ring. Well, I'm looking forward to seeing uh, some of the stuff that we take for granted, you know, our daily idiosyncrasies, living in the big cities and so on. But uh, give me a flavor of what this movie is about. Well, look, it, it's got something that uh, for everyone, uh, we'll all identify with certain aspects of it. I mean, we start off with this, uh, this young cad, uh, Frank, who's a professional, uh, works hard every day, but his salary never quite meets the bills at the end of the month. He's yeah. got to look after dad who's sickly and so on and so forth. And he gets to a, a, a point where, you know, the pressure is just too much for him. And um, like all of us, he, he relents to the pressure and he decides to ease his problem by, um, by the wrong means, yeah. by stealing, yeah. basically, bottom yeah. line. Yeah. Um, and so he goes on this whole adventure uh, with his partner in crime, uh, Ukaya, played by Godfrey. Um, and unfortunately, these guys, they decided they're going to um, place a, a bet on a fixed game, a boxing match. Um, however, unfortunately for them, uh, the guy that they are going to steal from uh, is my character, played by Lutuli Zamini. Um, his name is Doc. Um, and, uh, you know, he's quite a ruthless geezer who's travelled and uh, lived abroad for a long time. Yeah, so he but speaks I mean, with you, a... You're a tall guy and so on. Yeah. Even there, much as it's in the movie script, yeah. They should have thought twice. Well, they should have. Yeah. They should have. Um, but they wouldn't. Yeah. Well, you see, when... You when always learn about these things after the fact. The fact. Yeah. You know, it, you know, you know we, do, we make stupid decisions. Yes. Without, you know, considering the consequences and, and who we are up against. Yeah. And this is a decision that these poor boys made. Um, and they get caught and... Um, but it, it's, it's, the, it's, it's about the journey. Right. Um, and and, and um, the, the comedy of errors. The, along the, the way, right? Along well, the I way, don't want yeah. to spoil the movie for our viewers. <laughs> you know, partly I, I jumped in there yeah. just when it was uh, getting about to be to more, more and, interesting. Yeah, 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 and I know there's somebody who feels like punching me in the yeah, face and right say, on. but why do you do that? Yeah. Well, we've got to wait for the movie. Yeah, it's coming out in uh, March. But yeah. the whole movie-making process is uh, an unforgiving and punishing <clears throat> task, right? There are many, many um, uh, hurdles to overcome, yeah. from funding to getting scripts approved yeah. and finding the right people, distribution and so forth. And I've been wondering how, just briefly, Leon Schuster somehow managed to get it right and uh, many other people who aspire to do the same are battling. Yeah, um, the industry is, um, it's growing, it's very good, it's wonderful. Um, it has its problems. Um, the likes of Schuster found a formula that worked for them. Um, their content spoke to a, a, an audience. And, and that's the struggle. It's not a struggle, that's the challenge. Um, in, in, in getting your story across to the audience in a manner that they appreciate, it entertains them and that they want to come back and watch. Um, so the challenges are there. However, I think if you take into consideration that we do it because we're passionate and we love what we do. Mm. And so you, you're constantly trying to improve all aspects um, of, of making a movie from but production. I, I wonder if the funds that exist in the country have been that helpful, because um, at least there are a few provincial yeah, and no, even definitely. municipalities that uh, try to yeah. come to the party. No, definitely. Uh, without a shadow of a doubt, um, it's just not enough. <laughs> yeah. And you're working on a big be. production yourself. Yes, uh, the Eclipse at the Battle of Isandlwana. Um, story about um, the, the first defeat by the British colonial army, by a colonial army, by the Zulus, the King Eshwai. It's a heritage story uh, designed to just show the Zulu prowess, the, the, the prowess, the military prowess, um, Eshwayo's um, 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 genius, if you like, for want of a better word, of uh, getting together 20,000 Zulu troops, preparing for this uh, war, um, 
um, and the, def the, the defeat. So it's about the battle. Sure. Um, a period piece uh, set in 1879. Um, huge um, uh, scenes. We want to make it as epic as possible. Um, the story you, deserves when it. Do you, when do you uh, intend shooting? Um, we, we look to start shooting towards the end of this year. So we're still in the process, of course, of, 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 of gathering the, the, the money, putting the production team together, working with the various stakeholders, municipalities, uh, uh, Premier's office, and so on and so forth, um, arts and culture, all the, 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 the funders, the stake players, the stakeholders. It's a project that um, we can't do on our own um, because, um, you know, look, we, we have to represent, for example, uh, 20,000 Zulu warriors. Mm. So we'll need uh, at least 1,000 people, sure. uh, warriors. Yeah. Well, closer yeah. to the time, I want yeah. uh, you to pay us a visit no, again so that we can to. look at uh, the whole process that yeah. you're following yeah. and uh, hopefully also get to get snippets of what you are up yeah. to on set. No, great. Love you. Love you too. In fact, uh, you know, if, if, if you treat me well, Tim, I'll even uh, create a role for you in the movie. Who knows? <laughs> Make me the general of the army. Yeah, well, well let's not uh, move ahead of us. So we're not general, you know. <laughs> Lutuni Jamini, one of the leading actors in the nation, paying us a visit here on tonight with Tim Mudise. We appreciate. Thank you, Patrick. And, of course, uh, looking forward to seeing you on the big movie screen <laughs> in uh, early Thank March. Thank you very much.